Now I believe uh, in uh, keeping things uh, simple and uh, when I say simple I basically mean that uh, if let us say I'll give you an example if let us say I have to uh, learn uh, a new programming language and when I have to learn a new program pro programming language I need to have a reason like I maybe need to work on a project for example I once had to build a mobile app for uh, one of my client and at so when when my client asked me can you can you develop an app on uh, iOS or Android I was uh, not really sure but then I thought uh, I think it is a good opportunity to uh, learn something new apart from of course uh, earning some money but I did learn how to make an app on both Android and iOS and I published both the apps I think it took me like three months from the very start all the way till end now for developing those apps I did uh, learn things like I did some online courses it was long time back I think it was in 2014 uh, or maybe 15 I guess uh, when I when I uh, built those apps so I did some courses but my objective was really very clear that I have to develop an app that can pull in uh, one uh, one XML feed from uh, the website and pass it and display it uh, nicely it was not really a complicated app it was uh, just uh, showing the information so there was no um, so, th so there was nothing going from the app back to the server it was only one way and the purpose of the app was basically to uh, of course uh, uh, have one more medium or a medium yeah I guess where people can access the content which is of course stored on the website and it worked really well now after I'm uh, after I was done with that uh, project I never really bothered to uh, learn too much about uh, app development for both iOS and Android I mean I have done something but that was it and and when I when I was learning my learning was uh, probably 20% of the overall time I was spending I was focused more on doing things now why I'm talking about these things uh, because I want to share of course my story but at the same time I was actually looking at uh, this uh, Z shell Z shell I guess uh, if you're in, in US so basically this uh, is uh, a very popular uh, very popular shell uh, nowadays and I have never really bothered to try anything apart from bash I am actually quite happy with bash of course it is not really uh, I mean for my needs it is enough but if you are let us say trying to learn Linux I'm sure uh, you will probably uh, want to do more things with with your environment and if your objective is to learn uh, Linux then I think you should be focused on uh, first using it for your day-to-day -day needs like I use uh, Linux and uh, I have been learning so many things with uh, uh, doing by doing things uh, uh, myself for example if I have to play I mean not anymore but uh, long back it was not really possible to play even mp3 files uh, or or maybe movies for example and uh, we, we had to install a lot of other things so if you are trying to learn uh, this is of course my opinion uh, if, if you're trying to learn Linux if you're trying to uh, to basically learn Linux for maybe your job or maybe you think the work you you have been doing uh, will uh, it, it will help I mean this skill will help then definitely do that but in the beginning don't really try all the popular things that are around for example this new I, I'm not really sure how old this Z shell or Z shell is but uh, I never really bothered to try it out but because uh, everyone is talking about it and uh, whenever you because I follow a lot of YouTube uh, channels where uh, they show uh, their fancy environment especially their, sh their, their, sh their, their shell with the uh, colorful things autocomplete and a lot of other things I, I thought maybe I can give it a try so I have now started doing it and uh, today I just installed uh, um, that's that shell 
Z-shell. I, I don't know, to be honest, how to pronounce it. Usually people say Z-shell when, when I'm looking at the videos online. So now I'm going to try it for the very first time. And of course, not in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how it works because even I don't know how it works. But I have installed it. So if you want to, of course, do the same thing. And by the way, of course, I'm showing you how to do it on uh, Arch Linux because that is what I use. Uh, and by the way, all those Z shell, Z shell is really powerful and it can do a lot of wonderful things. It may not work out of the box. When you install it, for example, to install it on uh, on uh, Arch Linux, all you need to do is uh, use uh, this, uh, use Pacman and uh, that is it. So install it uh, with Pacman and uh, you're up and running but of course you have to install a few other plugins and uh, you have to configure it and if you're if you're looking at this page on uh, arch linux uh, wiki you can of course uh, go through the details for example starting with the installation which uh, is not very complicated then uh, there is the uh, one utility i guess to set up z shell z shell uh, to configure for the very first time which i did and uh, now I'm now now I'm basically exploring how it works, how I can uh, make it work for me. And I, I'm not really sure if I'm going to give up Bash. As I mentioned before, I mean if you compare Bash with V Shell or Z Shell, if you read online, you will of course uh, find a lot of people talking about uh, V Shell, Z Shell, that it is great. You can do a lot of wonderful things that you can't do with Bash, which I guess it's probably true. But for my needs. The kind of work that I do, I think Bash is okay for me. Uh, it, it works fine uh, for my needs. Uh, but I'm going to now, just for the sake of learning, just because I, I don't really want to left behind. I mean, I, I do feel uh, uh, left behind sometimes because I have never tried uh, Z shell before, which I'm going to which I'm going to do now. And I thought I'll probably also record myself if I'm learning something. Um, and to install this. Uh, on Arch Linux is very simple, but configuring it is uh, not at all uh, straightforward. You have to then uh, uh, configure your uh, profile and you have to make sure that you have the right plugins so that uh, it will work for you the way you need it. Because by default, if you are, uh, if you're thinking of using Z shell, Z shell, it won't even uh, do what uh, Bash can do. You have to basically tell it to do those basic things. And um, and by the way, there is something called as oh my, let me just show you, oh my Z shell or oh my Z shell, whatever you want to call it. So basically, this is uh, like uh, it is like a bundled package that you can install, and you have everything um, up and running uh, with uh, different uh, uh, plugins and. Uh, Autocompletes and a lot of a lot of fancy things that I guess uh, can uh, uh, save a lot of your time. And by the way, this I believe uh, works uh, really well on uh, macOS as well. I have not really tried it. I guess I'll also do it on uh, on macOS, but uh, I'm not really bothered to me to be honest. I'll first. Uh, try to get familiar with all the features. But in case you won't, don't want to spend too much time uh, configuring each and everything, you can use uh, this, oh my Z shell, oh my Z shell, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I don't really prefer using these pre-bundled packages. For example, even for Emacs, I use Emacs, uh, which is you know the default Emacs and of course, org mode. I prefer everything, I, I, I try configure configuring everything from scratch uh, based on my needs because I want to learn how it works. If you're using these packages, these bundles, it will make your life a lot easier, but you might not learn, you might not uh, uh, go through that initial hurdle, that learning curve that actually helps a lot in um, in, in learning a new thing. So I'll, I'll not use oh my Z shell, oh my Z shell, I'll I'll configure it myself and I'll share my journey with all of you. So that is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you I hope you learned something new today in case you never really heard about uh, Z shell, Z shell. I guess you now know. 
in case you are following my, my channel and uh, in case you have similar needs or similar interests like me but uh, but i hope you learned something today <laughs> thank you very much